Hi everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I want to do a little um, collection sort of uh, condensation <laughs> today. And I want to, so I want to condense basically these two palettes that I have here um, that are in my, they're like a year long, like eyeshadow kind of use up. And I'm just trying to get as much use as I can. And I find that having two big palettes for all my Makeup Peak eyeshadows, it's just too much and I just don't reach for them. So I want to compile them, just a couple, into a smaller palette. Um, this is an older one. I've had this for a while. It's got a little bit of stuff in it, so I'll have to clean that out. But I want to add some eyeshadows into this so that I can make sure um, that what I'm using is just going to be a small amount of stuff that doesn't overwhelm me and it doesn't uh, make me feel like I don't want to reach, you know, just like for the palettes in general. So I'm going to go ahead and start looking through these eyeshadows. These are all, again, my Makeup Peak eyeshadows that I purchased years ago and I just want to get more use. And I also want to decide what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of because some of these I'm just not using. So I'm going to select... Uh, a number of these that I think that I would start using and things I want to focus. So I'm going to for sure take the Shimmer Shimmer, which has a good size pan and it's um, kind of low in the pan. So I want to try and use that up. I also want to take Beaches and Cream, which is a little bit deeper than what I want for my brow bone, but it's usable. And I'm also going to use this one that I just moved from the other palette into this one, and it's called Rapunzel. And it looks like that. It's kind of a shimmery looking, um, like, like a gold beige shifty but it's not too reflective so I'm putting that in here as well it reminds me a lot of one of the Saint eyeshadows called Sabrina I'm not sure if you guys are familiar and it also kind of reminds me of um, one of the shadows from MAC which I can't remember the name of it for some reason right now and I use it constantly but it reminds me of that as well but it's just a nice like yellowy beige highlight um I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more mattified Shades. I'm going to use creme brulee. Of course, these are more like the neutral shades that I love using and it, it's got a good dip. And um, what else do I want to use? I think I'm going to throw in this deeper shade, though I am trying to use a similar shade in my Lorac palette. You know what? I'm going to leave that one for now and I'm going to grab this one here, which is a nice warm shade called Coco Bear. I'm going to use that one as well. And let's move this one over to the farther side. I think what I'm going to do is also... Um, this is so hard because I am using shades that are in my Lorac palette, which I'll show you here. Uh, I know I'm like ruining surprises because I'm using this a lot and it has quite a bit of pan, but that's okay. I just, I really need to use it. I need to bring it out right now to see what I want to use. And I do have enough like darker browns in that shade that I can use instead of using the ones that are in the Makeup Geek thing right now. Because this is what I'm trying to pan for the entire year. So I think I'm also going to throw in Bitten, which is a nice red shade. I'm also going to throw in Razzleberry, which is like a, a corally red kind of shade with some shimmer. I'm also going to put, do I want to put this? What is this? It's very chunky, but it's kind of cute. I'll throw this one in too. This one is called Mango Tango. This was a really popular one way back in the day. So I'm going to throw that in as well. And I'm going to grab a couple from this palette now and see what I have left over for room. So, um, I think I'm going to grab, I'm grabbing the ones that I know I would use. And I think this one is just not my jam. This one is not speaking to me i'm gonna probably take this one here which is oh god so gorgeous um this is grandstand i'm gonna do this one i'm also going to pull i don't want to get my nails in these 
This one is called Magic Act. I'm going to pull that one. And <clears throat> do I want to use this minty one? Kind of. It's really pretty. I never use it. So I might pull in this one, which is called Shore Thing. Like Shore, S-H-O-R-E, Thing. So I might pull that one and I'll grab one more, which this one is calling me, but it's got hard pan and I don't know where I would use that. And I have, is that similar to, let's see, this one is here. This one is here. Those are very different actually, considering they're so close. They have both good, really, like really good reflection, but I don't know what I'm trying to go for it looks like my palette is a little more on the warm side that's too yellow that's a little more you know what i'm gonna do that one this shade is called my tie so i'm gonna pull that one as well and these are the shade oh god i'm sticking my finger in one of the eyeshadows <laughs> oh, okay So this is my little curated palette for now. I'm just going to focus on using these shades. And then I think what I'll do is the next month or two, because I like to, I'm trying to not update every single month anymore because the pro progress on these is just too low. So what I'll do is I'll use what I can, put them back in the palettes, and then just weigh the palettes, and we'll go from there. But this is going to be what I use. So I'm going to move these to a separate drawer because it's just taking up far too much room in my drawer here. And I'll move my Bright Vibes back. I will also put my nice little curated palette. This is so cute, honestly. I am really excited to start using those. And then I'll also put another eyeshadow palette in that I really want to work on. And I can put my um, Lorac Pro away because now I've kind of matched what I could out of those palettes so I'm really excited I'm really uncertain of a couple of these eyeshadows and I'm not going to do anything with these until the end of the year because I really want to work on trying them out seeing what I like but I'm noticing that some of these like I know some of these are untouched because they're backups and I just threw them in here because I didn't want to keep them out anywhere but some of these I have only really swatched and not really worn because they're just not for me and also like some of these are absolutely stunning and gorgeous but there's so much cool tone stuff that I'm not using and a lot of these shades kind of look really similar and I'm not really like even though these one is a shimmer one is a matte I probably didn't need both of those and it's just at the time I thought I had to have as many as I could afford and yeah it just got out of control and I don't use them now so it's disappointing but that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set these aside and forget about them for a little bit and then bring them out switch everything up and then try something a little bit new but thank you guys for joining me for this it's something that I want to start doing on my um, channel more is bringing in single eyeshadows and making myself just a little palette to use of the stuff that I own in my collection so I'm not maybe as encouraged to buy new things as I have been so hopefully you guys stick around for that I hope you enjoyed again and I will talk to you again in the next video bye everybody